Hey, so I've got a my mannequin sitting in a chair, and I do have preferred angle set for this one. So as an example, if I went uh, double tapped on this segment and then went to uh, edit angular limitations, preferred angles, you'll see that I have not all of them set, but I do have, like, there's an example of an arm I don't have set, but just for demo purposes, you'll see that I have a lot of stuff set here specifically for so that's part of the spine, lower spine, thigh, leg, other thigh. Um, I don't think I have the arm set, which you should do. I think I would, again, for just for demo purposes, and I don't have those, but it's good enough for now. So there's my mannequin, and what I want to do is I'm going to, um, there's a tool here that says find the, the posture which maximizes the posture score. I can tap on that and it's going to put the mannequin in the best position in regards to optimizing those preferred angles. So notice the arms didn't move because I don't have those set. Um, so if I go back to the, the, I exited out and I went back to Human Builder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this mannequin around into the best student uh, uh, position um, when in one of my classrooms. So, <laughs> so in order to move with the compass, and I don't think I said this in a previous video, you need to make sure the product is selected if you want to move it with a compass. If you try to like if right here, if I had the mannequin selected or the chair selected, and then right there, the mannequin selected, you're not going to be able to move it with the compass. So I need to make sure you have the product selected. And then when I come over, I can take the mannequin and I can let's say I move them out just a little bit. And then I'm going to go into uh, the posture editor, I'm going to select the mannequin and Let's look at the lumbar and let's see what we can do. So I can just manipulate the lumbar a little bit. Maybe we'll go up to the thoracic region, get him leaning back a little bit. Maybe I can even take the thighs here and extend them out. So that's the, the right thigh, left thigh. In other words, I'm getting this in a really, really interesting um, position. It's probably good practice anyway kick that leg out a little bit. Actually, I want to take this thigh and do this little number. And really what I want to do, I want to close this out. I want to go back and dock my compass. And just do a little bit of a rotate here. There you go. That's getting uh, the student all ready to roll up for class. Maybe move him up here just a little bit and go back to this thigh. And I'm just getting this student all out of whack. So get that foot on the floor, go to the left leg, get that down on the floor. And maybe I'll go back to the thoracic region and let's do more of that little number. And lumbar, I'll tell you what, I'll go back to lumbar no, that's good. Right there. And then let's do the neck. So head region. I can take that head and, you know, do that little number. Not that anyone would be sleeping in my class, but um, forearms. Not going to affect the posture score, but that's all right. We want it to be kind of realistic looking here, right? So that looks like a good student sitting in class, at least from my perspective. Um, so I'm going to close that out. I'm going to get, um, and there's my mannequin. Pause there for a moment because it's showing the skeleton and there's got to be a reason why it's doing that, but sorry, I won't worry about it for now. So I'm going to go back into the editor. And so double tap on any of these segments. So now I'm back inside of, uh, the human posture analysis workbench. 
and let's run a posture analysis on this student. So when I'm in here, uh, there's a open the posture scoring panel. I can open that up and you're going to see that I've got some scores here. So overall, I got a 50 percentile score. Uh, the lumbar is at 5 percentile. The thoracic is at 20. The neck is zero, which is bad. The thigh is at 70. The right one is actually pretty decent. And so these are just the scores. The overall result is 50. And then you can look through here to see what regions are causing the most problems. You can do this via a list or you can do it via a chart. Uh, but these scores are based off of um, um, some other things you can break this down by, but by degrees of freedom, but let's just do them all. So again, degree of freedom one is flex on extension, two is abduction and adduction, and the three is the rotations. So let's just do them all and we'll do it as a list. So that gives you an idea of what's happening. And these scores are, as you probably know, coming from um, the, the uh, Hagler values that we set. And so if you look here, um, it's in the, it looks like the good region. So let's double check that. So it's actually in the 20 percentile region. You can see this represents where the current um, thigh is running, so it's in this zone. Let's look here and see what we come up with. So it's in this zone, so that's showing 100%. That's good, of course. And then here, that's the zone. This is where it's currently running. This is the zone, so it's getting a 20 percentile score. The neck, if I were to look at the neck, you can see that it's way down here in this zero range. So the scores proper, these scores here are coming from uh, those preferred angles. And if you want to bring this student back and wake him up, you can go back to this posture, which maximizes the scores and it will wake him up. Of course, again, angles are not set, but that's okay. And come back. And again, I'm wondering why these segments are showing, but I'm sure there's something going on here. Um, I wonder if I had it. No, it's all right. Well, it's not important, but uh, that's how you do a posture analysis. Of course, you now he's still kind of sitting up. Probably wouldn't hurt to rotate him back to where he needs to be. So go back to product, dock this back in, you know, do that little rotation back, move him back in his seat. Move them down just a little bit and do a more correct posture for this. Dave, I hope that helps.